Blue Breed Global Truth. Good evening. In a four and a half hour hearing here at D.C. Superior Court, prosecutors played a number of videos, including a cell phone video showing 64 year old Reggie Brown being kicked and stomped. A video the detective in the case described as horrific and said as the girls walked away, they were in a celebratory mood. In this alley, just after midnight on October 17th, D.C. police say a man who has not been identified and a group of young girls brutally attacked 64-year-old Reggie Brown, who is described as being physically handicapped. In a juvenile court hearing today, D.C. police detective Harry Singleton testified a man in a blue coat first assaulted Reggie Brown by throwing him to the ground in the 6200 block of Georgia Avenue. Brown then got up and tried to get away, moving fast through the alley, followed by the unidentified man and a group of girls, including two 13-year-olds and a 12-year-old. Brown's friend George tells News 4 he was stunned to hear three girls are allegedly involved in his friend's death. That's rough. That's rough. They need, they need to pay the penalty if they did it. Detective Singleton also testified he could find no connection between Reggie Brown and the girls. They didn't know each other. He also said Mr. Brown never fought back and never defended himself. At D.C. Superior Court, Paul Wagner, News 4. Mm. Man, oh man, that is truly heart pressing right there. <clears throat> If you don't believe in the spiritual realm, I'm gonna be educating you today. See, there's demons that's roaming these streets and they're literally hacking people. And for a lot of you parents out there who are not raising your children, they're being brought up and nurtured by malevolent forces, dark entities. And there's a lot of twists and turns to this whole story. And there seems to be a lot going on in the metropolitan Washington, D.C. area. I'm hearing a lot of stories for former colleagues, associates. And there's some real wickedness going on. Something very daunting and ominous. Now, we're talking about two 13-year-olds and a 12-year-old that relentlessly beat a man fatally who wasn't even fighting back. What the hell's going on in Chocolate City? The trail is real. They thought I'd fall apart. Not at all. Thought I'd lose my mind. Not at all. Cadence. They thought I'd stop. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Let's get it. They said I came with too much heart. They said I came with too much heart. Chocolate City, where it starts. Chocolate City, where it starts. See yellow tape and white chalk. Yellow tape and white chalk. I bounced back and took a loss. Bounced back and took a loss. My own homies double crossed me. Lord, I came up and now they salty. Lord, I was getting twisted off. Off me. Get them it was long nights, short days, jugging was a forte, burner in the north face, strutting with a stone face, always in the wrong place, I'm thankful just for God's grace, oh, grace. I had to change up, pick some game up and lead them lame stuff, stuff. and them bras played it different, switching up on the realest, it was sandpaper kisses, shorty had me twisted, but it got me on a mission, who do you trust in this world? Better watch the people close, cause they'll turn If they see you rising up in his word They'll try to block your blessings that you deserve You better leave the world behind hey. And the EMP can't stop this light of mine hey. I'm boasting y'all and keep them glorified yeah. My skin shining, looking burnished bronze hey. I'm in this image, ain't no doubt about it yeah. I teach these scriptures, I'ma keep it solid I stand for justice while they keep it silent. Yeah, you ain't real, we gon' be divided. Yeah, them people tried it, but they couldn't hide it. They thought I 
sellout, not at all. Ain't no sellout with you. Thought. They said I came with too much heart. Pops gave me all his heart. Chocolate City, where it starts. DC is where it starts. See yellow tape and white chalk. Yellow tape and white chalk. I bounced back and took a loss. I bounced back and took a loss. My own homies double crossed me. Lord, so I came up, now they salty. Lord, I was getting twisted often. Had to get them spirits off me. Who do you trust in this world? Better watch the people close, cause they'll turn. If they see you rising up in his word, they'll try to block your blessings that you deserve. You know, growing up in the metropolitan area, I learned a lot of valuable lessons, but I also seen a lot transpire in that particular environment. And a lot of gentrification has taken place since then. But nonetheless, within certain communities, as you can see, there's still a devil in the ghetto, totally ripping it apart. Now, for those who are unaware about the history of Washington, DC, DC was the first actual predominantly black city in America. In 1957, it was labeled America's chocolate city. And that was brought to you all by a funk song that was put out back in the day. And this is where I was raised. And stories like this one, really, I hold it close to heart because it's sad to see where there's no protection for the elderly, where they can't even walk the streets and be at peace. At least I can say at one point in time, as I was growing up, nobody was messing with no elders, bro. That was off limits. Nobody was running up on no elder and just beating them for no reason. And when we go into the details of this particular case, it is truly devastating. It's truly devastating. And you know, we got to understand that if you're not raising your children, something else is raising them. Listen, you got to be on point as a parent. Let me make this clear. There's a lot of warfare that goes on psychologically. That's geared towards warping and distorting the perception of your children. You got to look at what they playing on these tablets. You got to look at what they playing on these consoles. You got to look at what they're viewing on television. And you got to really begin to parent them. The Bible says you train up a child in a way you will have them go and they will not depart from the faith. Now, I want to go a little bit into this article, right? And um, I want to get into this because there's a lot to understand about this story, right? Now, I'm going to People Magazine. And um, I guess I can share this screen with you all as well if you would like to read along. And do me a favor and hit the like button on your way in because we would like to... Uh, promote awareness to situations like this uh so that elderly's that elderly man's life uh is just not floating in the wind and we we can literally learn something from this um let's continue all right so 
Let's see. Let's get to some of these details. It says three young girls. Connection. Three young girls arrested in connection with murder of disabled man in Washington, D.C. A 12 year old. Two 13 year olds are facing second degree murder. I don't know why they're facing second degree murder. They should be uh, facing first degree murder. Uh, and it says charges in the death of a 60 year old Reggie Brown. So rest in peace to Mr. Reggie Brown. Three young girls have been charged with murder in the death of a 64 year old disabled man in Washington, D.C. On Thursday, a 13 year old girl was arrested and charged with second degree murder. And on Friday, two more girls, 12 and 13, were both arrested and charged with second degree murder. The Metropolitan Police Department, MP, MPD, said in a statement on Friday, two judges dismiss, dismissed a first degree murder charge. Listen, we have a real issue. They should be on the front page of every magazine, every not magazine, but every newspaper right now. Do you understand the reason why these young ladies were so demonically possessed and charged up? And was able to carry out such a horrendous act is because there is no accountability in their lives. Listen, a lot of these young ladies are running around not having no accountability. And the Bible tells us through much liberty, a woman, a female, will have self destructive nature. Because there's no fathers to hold them accountable. Do you understand? Now, of course, there's young men that are running around as well off the chains out here raising hell. But let's make this very clear. They need to be plastered on the front page. And what it seems like in America is they insulate the women, the young women and older women where they're not able to take any accountability. Now here we have a video of these, these girls possessed, relentlessly attacking this man who's defenseless. And check this out, ladies and gentlemen, the man is handicapped. We're talking about a handicapped elder. And these young ladies savagely eradicated him revoked him of his life he couldn't even enjoy his last days here because that was abruptly just interrupted and we don't get to see what these young ladies look like and they don't get charged with first degree murder now why is that King Connect, thank you for the scripture, says Ecclesiasticus 26 and 10. If thy daughters be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest her abuse herself through overmuch liberty. See, in this country, they want to hide and insulate the issues that we have. It goes on to say. Two judges dismissed a first degree murder charge in the case, citing a lack of evidence, but they have video footage. We're talking about footage of these young ladies leaving the scene like they just went through a purge. Like a scene from the movie Purge and they're frolicking, they're celebrating and pretty much skipping and dancing away from the scene after horrendously taking that man's life what do they mean lack of evidence what's going on in our country it goes on to say the three girls allegedly assaulted 64 year old reggie brown on october 17 2023 mpd said in his statements, when officers responded to the incident, Brown was pronounced dead at the scene. And an autopsy performed by the chief medical examiner later showed he had sustained blunt force trauma consistent with a homicide. During a hearing in D.C. Superior Court on Friday, 
investigators played a video allegedly taken by the girls of the incident. So they recorded their actions. So what kind of demons were they were possessed with where they wanted to relive what they did? Literally, they wanted to go and watch what they did to this man. Now, y'all got to understand that this is what you would call premeditated murder. These young ladies were more than likely scoping this elderly handicapped man out. Bloodthirsty for their first kill. Why? Because of what they do on their spare time. The lack of covering over their lives. And those dark forces pretty much took over. Now, I remember growing up in Washington, D.C. And I can remember a time where they started to take away all the girls and boys centers. I remember this like it was yesterday. We used to have the run and shoot. We have used to have different boxing gyms. It used to be things to do. And I literally watched. The powers that be in the Washington and the nation, nation's capital literally strip us of any activity outside of just hanging out on that block. And I remember seeing a metamorphosis take place with all those people around me. I seen what idle time can do. And now we're seeing these things carried out full-fledged. Second address, five and eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off scent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. And now because there's no fathers in the equation or the mothers chose Pookies and Ray Rays, now they're bringing forth actual monsters see in that scripture in second address is telling you that demons have changed their forms they have changed their forms the wild beasts has transformed into actual children and they're getting younger and younger in the city known as chocolate city that story there is the same everywhere it's the same thing in chicago it's the same thing in Los Angeles. It's the same thing in Baltimore, Philadelphia. It's the same thing everywhere in these cities. Where people are addicted to the fast life and not willing to go slow it down and think about a more conducive environment to raise children or even retire. An environment where you could actually be in a place where you at peace. It goes on to say. During a hearing. In D.C. Superior Court on Friday, investigators played the video taken by the girls of the incident. According to The Washington Post, the one minute long clip show five girls chasing Brown into an alley now five girls chased them into the alley why only two of them getting charged with manslaughter pretty much now for a man who's handicapped that age these young ladies even chasing him could have ended his life do you understand that them even threatening him in such a aggressive manner could have caused a heart attack, a stroke. It goes on to say, the one minute long clip showed five girls chasing Brown into an alley in the Northwest neighborhood of the city, pulling him down 
off a chain link fence. He was attempting to climb and stomping on his head. Then they proceeded to pull down his pants, take his belt and hit him with it. The Washington Post reported one of the girls in the video could be hear, heard cheering. He's leaking. Referring to Brown's head bleeding. The newspaper added. One detective called the clip horrific in court, according to NBC Washington. During the two day long court proceedings, homicide detective Harry Singleton testified that Brown was disabled. Now, what kind of demons would do such a thing? Absolute monsters. Totally spirit hacked. Totally done for it. All the way on the dark side. Now, the plot thickens, y'all. One of the young ladies, apparently, the 12 year old, the youngest out of the five, not three, but the youngest out of the five, happened to get shot, according to the mother, shortly after this situation. Peep this. Good evening. In a four and a half hour hearing, it's this one. Tonight, we continue to learn more about the three teens arrested and charged for the murder of a D.C. man. A 12 year old and two 13 year olds are accused of killing Reggie Brown last year. Our Alexis Wainwright is getting us up to speed. Just two hours ago, we spoke with a woman who identified herself as the mother of the 12 year old who was here in court today for an initial hearing. She says that her daughter is also the 12 year old who was shot in the leg Friday morning on Peabody Street. She didn't have any other details to share just yet, but said that she and her family are praying. This story begins last October. That's when police responded to a report of a man lying in an alley near Georgia Avenue near Sheridan and Rittenhouse Streets in Northwest. Police say they found 64 year old Reggie Brown with blunt force trauma to his head and he was pronounced dead shortly after. Fast forward to March of this year on Thursday, a 13 year old girl was arrested. Then on Friday, another 13 year old girl and a 12 year old were also arrested. Authorities say all three are now facing second degree murder charges in connection to the death of Reggie Brown. In a statement to WUSA 9, Brown's family says Reggie was a person who stayed to himself, never bothered anyone, was well known in the community as he grew up in the Brightwood neighborhood for 64 years. The 12 year old girl who was charged was here in court this afternoon for that initial hearing. Now, of course, we'll stay on top of this and share new information as we learn it. In Northwest, Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9. Now, notice the news said the mother gave news sources this information, saying that her daughter was shot shortly after the situation and that she's praying. Praying. Praying for whom? Now, this is insane. Of course, there was no father that made no statement like that. But let me just put this out here. All the prayers in the world are not going to mean anything if you're not raising your child in these biblical tenets in biblical principles. And if you have alienated the father from the equation or chose a wicked man to father the child or just decided you wanted to be a single parent, can't no praying in the world stop the inevitable when you living in the when you living in the devil's den. When you in Satan's when you in Satan's land When you're in the terror dome, you can go to church every Sunday. You could pray all you want to pray. But your daughters, nonetheless, are going to be out here. Not only just 
shaking their behinds the sexy red and dressing a certain way when they leave the house and you know getting in different dudes cars and out here just wilding out but not only that since they getting so much liberty nowadays and so much liber so much um freedom now they becoming murderous demons and devils and all these women can say is well we are going to be praying now there's so much to unpack here because who shot the young lady? Who shot her? So you mean to tell me you're 12 year old? This already shows you the spirit the mother's in, no accountability. So you mean to tell me your 12 year old is facing manslaughter for beating a well known elderly man in the community who didn't bother nobody? And on top of that, she getting she out here getting shot. It's, it's over for her. It's over for that 12 year old. Her soul is gone. See, some of y'all be thinking that demons don't move through children. Y'all be thinking that you got this, you got over 21 years to get your children straight and get them on the right path. You think 21 years without a father in the picture you think no matter what as a mother this is what a lot of mothers believe they believe they have all the abilities and skills to raise good children without a father they believe this wholeheartedly but look at the locations that you're dwelling in you're in the heart of the cities and they're getting turned out by social media they're getting turned out by mainstream media they're getting turned out by their friends that's around them. They're being influenced heavily. There's all kind of demonic activity. They looking at Meg the Stallion. They looking at videos like Hiss. Where Meg the Stallion is completely demon possessed. And she's literally pushing these spirits on your daughters. They're looking at these things 24-7. And they ain't trying to hear that mommy's going to church and praying. They on demon time. Do you understand? Children need discipline. They should be afraid to ever disrespect an elder, let alone do what these young ladies did. It's like your daughter see you, you ladies out here talking to men any kind of way. Y'all be flying off the handle with y'all's mouths. Y'all don't tend to have no discipline over yourselves when you're talking to a man. You don't know how to calm yourself down. And they're seeing that. They're absorbing that behavior. And a lot of your daughters are growing up believing that men are the enemy. They believe that men are the enemy. Why? Because you are the example. To never submit to a man, always be combative, always be disrespectful. So they think they're getting brownie points nowadays at ages 12, 13, 14, 15. They think they're getting brownie points to go out here and body men. That's what's making them popular in the hood. That they can, they can take the life of a man. And pretty much, for lack of better terms, they're getting away with it. Because they should be thrown under the jail. Do you understand me? Not only should they be thrown under the jail, but the mother needs to be under investigation. Child services needs to come through and they need to holler at the mother. When are women in this country going to be held accountable for their actions? When is when is it going to be too far? We see certain young ladies go to Dubai. We've seen a content creator go to Dubai and she was running her mouth all crazy to a man arguing. And you know what they did? They threw her ass in jail. For what? 
for raising her voice at a man. That's how a country supposed to be ran. Do you understand? It's supposed to be the utmost respect. And when you see your daughters talking to a man, you got to teach them to be respectful. No, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's a spirit there. Now, let's go back to this article. Investigators also played security footage of an adult man who looked to be in his early 20s. Grabbing Brown by his collar and throwing him against a wall. What the hell is going on here? So you telling me that there was a man present as well in his early 20s? What is happening here? Where is what's happening in D.C.? What's the identity of this man? See, when I see stuff like this, deeper questions come to mind. Questions such as, was this a blood sacrifice? Was this a satanic ritual? Why is the identity of these people being hidden? Ladies and gentlemen, this does not make any sense. Are they hiding something from us? Now, some of y'all are keeping up with the news that's going on in Alabama. Within the uh, industrial prison complex out there. Organs popping up, bodies getting found buried behind the jailhouse. What's happening here? Is this a Shanquala Robinson type of situation? What's taking place? It goes on to say, investigators also play security footage of an adult man who looked to be in his early 20s grabbing Brown by his collar and throwing him against a wall. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a demon. There was demons there that day. If y'all ever seen the movie um, with Denzel Washington called, um, what is the name of that movie? It's called Fallen. Spirits, malevolent forces, demons, archons, shadow beings they jump through people do you understand they literally jump through people this is not sensationalism this is not something that i'm trying to tell you to make to make you believe in some type of spookism no scripturally biblically truthfully speaking these entities roam around and they hack people now if you don't have any spiritual leverage if you're not in no type of truth if you're not following the word of the most high if you're not standing on righteousness standing on morals or principles if you just a person that's out here as an npc you just literally walk in the streets with no type of belief system. You don't believe in nothing. You don't care about nothing. You just live in your life. You just going to work. Listen, a demon can just hack you like it's nothing. Because you only can serve one or two masters. And demons don't care if you are atheist. Demons don't care if you don't believe in nothing. Demons don't care if you are a Scientologist, whatever you call yourself. They want you not to believe in nothing. That's a prime opportunity to hack you. Do you know how many people are sitting in jail right now and don't even remember what the hell they did? They don't even remember what they did. Disembodied spirits roam around. 
And if you don't have no spiritual covering, if you're a man that don't have Christ over you, if you're a woman who don't have a man over you that has Christ in him, and it don't have to be an intimate relationship, it could be a father, an uncle. Some of you ladies, I'm actually your spiritual lead, believe it or not, because why? You watch my material. And this is your covering at the moment until you find um, righteous leadership in the physical. Some of you ladies, y'all are already um, widows. You don't plan on getting married again. And you following a certain teacher that is bringing you spiritual clarity on things. And that's a covering right there. But there are a lot of ladies out there with no covering. Not the least bit interested in truth. And it's written all over them. But I'm telling you, these demons is hacking people left and right. And, and let me tell y'all, because it's going to get real. King Connect, thank you for the support. No accountability at all, new breed. I've seen so many, re so many women reward children for bad behavior. It's insane. Promoting the dysfunction furthermore, influencing the child to be a willing vessel of demons. Absolutely absolutely you have mothers these days that stray away from discipline um you got mothers out here who stop the fathers from disciplining the children not understanding that that's the rod of correction to keep them on the right path you even got mothers who psychologically um destroy the children by making it seem like if a father is disciplining them because a child is impressionable they can make that look they can make a child believe that they're traumatized they can make a child believe that they're traumatized because the father disciplined them and now they're rejecting they're literally re at this point they're rejecting correction somebody in the chat says you can't blame a mother in this situation you can absolutely blame the mother but things are getting real. A lot of people have been asking me about the uh, the eclipse and what's taking place with the solar eclipse. Listen, what makes you think is really an eclipse? It could be CERN pointing that hydron collider they got towards the sun, blocking off the sun. Why? Because they're trying to crack more stargates and more portals open. You know, that's just my personal belief that they want they want to pretty much merge the realms and have more activity like this going on. Now, this can work two ways, because I also believe that um, the righteous, the ones that the most high chose are going to see more and understand more as well. And, and it's already been happening. But let's not get into that. And it also can be Project Blue Beam, perhaps, but let's stick to the subject. But if that's happening over there in Switzerland, well, well, let's forget Switzerland. Look at what's happening in D.C. Look at what's happening in D.C. Let's continue to read this because this gets this story is just crazy. It says investigators also play security footage of an adult man who looked to be in his early 20s grabbing Brown by his collar and throwing him against a wall. The Washington Post reported. Singleton also testified that the group of girls who had no relation to Brown were passing by the witness, passing by and witnessed the incident. NBC reported, according to the Washington Post, the detective interviewed a witness. Now, listen, here we have. They chased them into the alley. Five girls. Now, see, this is crazy. This is how demons work. Now, this story gets so crazy when you hear it. So five young ladies chase him into the alley where he tries to climb. A handicapped man tries to climb up. Elderly man tries to climb up a fence. Where he's pulled down by these young ladies. Stomped out, hit with a belt. Somehow. This 20-year-old man at some point 
he grabs the man like what was going on here it, be, it was five young ladies then it became three then this young man is involved it was like mass possession i can't i can't call it anything but mass possession and this is not the first time something like this has happened in dc there's a story that took place on um howard on howard's campus last year I want y'all to check this out same thing a group of young ladies wild out and i believe they beat a young man like fatally what's happening in washington dc it goes on to say man the girls who had no relation to brown were passing by and witnessed the incident so they seen this man who was 20 abusing this older man and that spirit jumped on them it looked appealing to them that demon jumped on them they didn't even know this man but it gave them the courage and bravery to follow this man's example The detective interviewed a witness who alleged that one of the girls walked up to the man assaulting Brown, asked, can I fight him? So the girls walked up and said, can I fight him too? So they want to blow off some steam. They want to purge. This is what the little two thirds savage demons is out here doing. Referred to Brown, to which the man responded, yes. So all this is on camera. And there's manslaughter charges. Meanwhile, this poor elderly handicapped man is just defenseless. The three girls who have not been identified publicly, why haven't they? The three girls who have not been identified publicly by law enforcement due to their age have been charged as juveniles and have pleaded not guilty. But this is what happens in the cities, man. The, the laws and the rules are all out of whack. Somebody said there's portals over the DMV. Man, I can tell you this right now. Every time I go visit Washington, D.C., it seems to be um, some type of atmosphere that I just can't get with. Real talk. This is why I got out of that city. Because it gets worse and worse by the year. And if you're in a location, if you're in a place where you can feel a daunting presence, where you can feel things are just not right, man, you got to learn how to maneuver. King Connect says, the point was that mom was praying instead of holding her child accountable for being included. Exactly. So for those who don't know, those just joining, within this situation that we're reading about right here, one of the young ladies was shot, apparently, um, who was involved. I think it was either days later or weeks later. And this is how the mother responded, and this is the information she gave the news. Tonight, we continue to learn more about the three teens arrested and charged for the murder of a D.C. man. A 12-year-old and two 13-year-olds are accused of killing Reggie Brown last year. Our Alexis Wainwright is getting us up to speed. Just two hours ago, we spoke with a woman who identified herself as the mother of the 12 year old who was here in court today for an initial hearing. She says that her daughter is also the 12 year old who was shot in the leg Friday morning on Peabody Street. She didn't have any other details to share just yet, but said that she and her family are praying. 
This story begins last October. That's when police responded to a report of a man lying in an alley near Georgia Avenue near Sheridan and Rittenhouse Streets in Northwest. Police say they found 64 year old Reggie Brown with blunt force trauma to his head and he was pronounced dead shortly after. Fast forward to March of this year on Thursday, a 13 year old girl was arrested. Then on Friday, another 13 year old girl and a 12 year old were also arrested. Authorities say all three are now facing second degree murder charges in connection to the death of Reggie Brown. In a statement to WUSA 9, Brown's family says Reggie was a person who stayed to himself, never bothered anyone, was well known in the community as he grew up in the Brightwood neighborhood for 64 years. The 12 year old girl who was charged was here in court this afternoon for that initial hearing. Now, of course, we'll stay on top of this and share new information as we learn it. In Northwest, Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9. Exactly. Praying to who and about what? The mother's praying. Angie Powella says, um, I live in the DMV and I have noticed a big change here. Absolutely. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. They're not raising the children off biblical principles, but they want to pray. They want to pray to Jesus to come and stop the madness when you're not raising your children. And things are going to get get worse we're gonna see remarkable evil here on this earth y'all it's gonna be downright astounding what we're gonna be looking at listen when you look at the scriptures when it tell you that babylon would be the home of every foul spirit every unclean spirit and caged bird unclean bird now i want you to think about what that means i want you to think about what every every unclean spirit every unclean spirit you know what that means skinwalkers the npcs the meat suits there's going to be a spirit of cane on a lot of people the bible tells you how much these cities are going to be troubled i'm talking about the shapeshifters, the archons. Imagine you walking down the street in these cities and now you're seeing motion blurs. Why? Because it's something there. And not to mention all of the drugs that these children is on, what's being released to the public, all kind of designer drugs opening up more portals and more gateways. And ladies and gentlemen, if y'all can do me a solid and get, get the likes up over a thousand because this story needs to be shared. This story needs to be shared. And the reason why I'm so passionate about putting this message out here is because I need my women subscribers and followers to see how much this is an issue, the lack of accountability going on in our communities and how even, even the court system, the judicial system is working against us as people because they're not holding these savages and these demons and monsters not accountable. You need to understand that. Abby B got it right. And then they out here popping these edibles like there's nothing. Popping the C CBD edibles and them things is dangerous. You hear me? They're dangerous. And we just got to do better, man.
Somebody says uh, the story's so sad because he even he didn't even defend himself from them girls, probably because he knew something was wrong with them little girls. It was no way he can defend himself because he was handicapped. We're talking about a man who's defenseless. What could he do? I'm telling you, man. We're living in a time like never before, man. And the the uh, the moral of this story is you need to train up your children in a way you would have them go so they don't depart from the faith. You know, it already seems as if they're not getting charged as adults. Um, they get that this thing is broken down to, to manslaughter. It is what it is. We got. Man, we got to really address these type of problems. But I got more material coming, man. Y'all want y'all to turn these notifications on. Um, I want to thank everybody for showing up and um, supporting the broadcast. And hopefully we bring some more awareness to those in the DMV area, as well as those in, in various cities. Uh, let me see. I seen, uh, let me give some a couple shout outs. I seen uh, Pastor Rufus. I just seen him in the building. See a couple. I see a few brothers um, in the chat involved with the uh, the land initiative. Shout out to y'all. Much respect. Um, man, just all praises to the most high that, you know, you brothers and sisters got the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Um, more content coming. Y'all turn those notifications on, man. This story is something else, y'all. Shalom and peace.